Good morning! It's been a while since I've done a recording for the YouTube channel, so today I am recording for you guys. I do a lot of lives in Simply Flawless Naturally and Flawlessly Festive VIPs, so I would love it if you would join me there. That is on Facebook, of course. So today, the first thing I'm doing is putting on my probiotic cream. I love this cream. It has made a huge difference, although all kinds of things going on in my face right now. It has made a huge difference in my skin. I'm supposed to rub up, and I find myself constantly rubbing down because I forget. Let's do a little on the side of my nose. Those wrinkly lines. Oh, I really think this right here is looking so much better. And the spot that I had that stuck out right, it was like right there. I think it was right there. It's gone. I mean, this little tiny spot is still there, but overall it's gone. So today we get ready for the Fall Park Spark of Brilliance Tour. About a three and a half hour drive. But I'm very excited to be headed that direction and possibly get to um, maybe tour around Richmond just a hair. I don't know what's going on with my face. Anyways, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> Woo! I should go places like this. I am recording. So hopefully no one heard your favorite little song you made up. <laughs> if y'all want to know what the song he made up, and it's not the broccoli song. And it's really not a song. <laughs> it's just really like a chorus of. Mm, I'm not going to call it stupidity today. What should I call it? Ridiculousness. Baby, will you grab me a Coke real quick? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he says, I'm bashing on him and I want him to do something for me. I need a Coke this morning because I don't have no coffee. I definitely need some coffee or something before I get on my road or get on the drive. Thank you, sweetheart. You know where the cat litter is? It's just right there. That's what you're taking down to Carrie McCoy, the cat litter and the bag of cat litter. When she's going to give you $10. Brand new box. The bag and the box, babe. Thank you. My cat, my indoor cat, Tosev, I'm pretty certain went off to die last year. And I had cat litter on auto delivery and I forgot to cancel it um, after he passed away. So I put it on my Facebook just to get it out of here. I'm going to keep a little bit of my money. All right, you guys. Oh, by the way, that was a Pharmacy BB Cream. I love this as my summer um, base because it 
is lightweight and it's lighter coverage. I, um, I don't think I need full coverage in the summertime. So I like that lighter coverage in the summertime. I totally like, y'all, I got in a fight. Well, a girl fought me when I was in ninth grade. Ninth grade. Y'all, I'm 54 now. And this is a scar. And I messed around around that scar yesterday. And so I have no eyebrows there. So today I am going to put on some of the eyebrow stuff. Where is it at? I um, pulled it out. I know I did. It rolled over in the corner. All right. So this is the pharmacy eyebrow pen. I like it because it's got the four little definitions there. And so I'm going to put this on first. So it's like drawing little lines, so it looks a little bit more natural, I think, and playing. To me, that's important. Okay. So obviously, I messed up a little bit right there, but I'm going to fix that. So right now, it looks really wacky weird, right? But it won't by the time I'm done. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And because I put that on, I'm going to go ahead and do my blush next. And I'm, oh, no, I'm going to do my highlighter next. Or my bronzer. I have decided that I like putting it on um, first. It doesn't matter, really. But I kind of like putting it on first. And I can see exactly where I've put it. And the key is to get a good blend. Never thought I'd be wearing bronzer. Bronzer it is. I'm not sure I really need that on my forehead, but I do use it there. This is where I feel I need it the most. Because I feel like it takes away at least one of those three chins. <laughs> I really need to go on a diet, y'all. On the chunky side right now. So excited to be going to Richmond today. All right, so now that that's done and these are dry, I'm gonna come back and I'm just gonna lightly, because I don't like it to look like I've done anything to my eyebrows. You know, that they're just natural. And I don't have the greatest eyebrows in the world, so I don't need them to look even weirder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got some funkadelic stuff going on with these eyebrows. I have never been good at doing what I need to do with them. And um, that's not that's not any anything that will change probably. All right, now that I've done everything out of order, let's go back to my eyes.
I put my natural deodorant and my hair oil in. And of course I use shampoo and conditioner bars only. There's only three things I use in my hair. It's an all natural shampoo and conditioner bar. And I don't even have to use the conditioner bar very often. Um, because my hair, since I've been using them for so long, is so nice and so healthy. Even with the silver color, which is harder to take care of. And then I use that hair oil, which is just all natural oils that go in my hair. And I love it. All right, I think we're going to add some green into my mix today. That is not the green. Where is the green? We're going to add some green corners today. Oh, by the way, I just put on Color Street Highlighter Balm on my eyes. It has not been tested for your eyes, so that's important to know. You can keep it. <laughs> I should take it with me just in case. Should. I might do that. Alright, so we got a little green going on in there. And I'm going to add, y'all, I try to stick with pretty natural products, but sometimes you just can't. So I got these, and I love them. They go on very, very, very smoothly and very nicely. So let's see. Oh, excuse me. What color do I want today? I'm going to go with... And this brown color. I'm just going to go a little loop-de-loop -loop over that and do that right there in the center. And then I'm going to hit it with just a touch of this pink. Right, right in the middle of it. Alright, and then, of course, I will be using my um, highlighter that I use only for this purpose right there in the corner of my eye. You see how that brightens my eye up quite significantly when I tap in that highlighter right there, just in the corner of my eye. Maybe a little bit on the brow bone. Y'all, I follow, I can't remember her last name, but her name is Michaela on uh, TikTok. I love her. She's been doing makeup since she was a very young kid. She's only like 25 now, so. But she's been doing makeup a long time, and she's amazing. Oh, let's finish up the rest of my makeup before I start putting that on. Let's get on some blush and highlighter. So funny how I just look weird right now. But when it all comes together, it looks pretty good. And if y'all have seen me before, you know that I say, whatever makes you happy. If you want to be wild and have a good time with it, you should do that. It's really that simple. Do what makes you happy. Because in this life, in this life, there's not many choices. So 
So as long as it's not illegal, immoral, and God won't come down on you, do what you like. If you like your makeup to look a certain way, make it look that way, y'all. There is no reason at all to worry about what other people think. And for you 20-somethings that are watching now, trust me, this is something you learn. It takes you a long time to really get it. So try to get it now because you'll be happy if you start with that now. Believe in yourself and, and love yourself and everything else will fall into place. And of course, love God. Okay, so back to Michaela. She does this thing she calls tight lining, where you put the eyeliner under your your lashes. See the difference in this eye and that eye already just from tight lining? So I've been practicing this for about a week now. I'm not the greatest at it yet, but I am enjoying it greatly. Can you imagine back in the day when, like, they had to use quills and, you know, I don't even know what they used to apply makeup or what they used as makeup back in the day. I'm going to have to do some research on that because I think that would be a lot of fun to know. I know they use berries and, you know, that kind of thing, berries and... plants and stuff. But I wonder what they used as their applicator. That's a really good question, right? Alright, let's put our powder on before I put my mascara on and I'll be ready to head out the door. And you're going to see that this powder is going to pour it, pull it all together. Kind of sets when I got going on. And pulls it all into something that does not look like just a mad crazy woman. All right, my makeup's or my lipstick's in my purse, so again, of course, and I forgot to grab it. But uh, so I won't get my lipstick on with you guys today. I might drop a video in a minute of me applying it. I might even go with a wild color tonight. Today I'm going to stick with Charmer, but tonight I might apply one of the brighter ones. Maybe even a red. And I don't know if y'all noticed my new Manny. Which will sparkle in the sun. And I'm excited about it. Very pretty. I put it on just for the Spark of Brilliance tour tonight. Okay, a little extra mascara this morning. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I've got some traveling to do, and I should be walking out the door right now, but I'm not. So, and I said I'd do something with this mop of a hair, because I'm trying to let it grow out. So, I'll just have to do funky stuff with it to make it look decent each day. All right, you guys, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll talk to you again real soon.